Hi Lee Brown, this is your July mid-month tarot reading. I do three separate spreads in my mid-month readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage, and I'll do a love from the past, aka the X spread. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love in the second half of July. We have the two of ones clarified by the page of swords. We have the knight of swords clarified by the three of ones. We have the will of fortune. In the potential outcome, we have uh, strength with uh, the lovers and the world. And we also have the page of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow air sign, uh, Gemini, another Libra or Aquarius, or a Leo, or pretty much any zodiac sign. This is a general reading. Well, you've got a... You've got a secret admirer, <laughs> Libra. <laughs> you do. And right now, this person is watching you like a hawk, or after the two of you get acquainted, they're not going to make their move right away because uh, they're going to be watching you like a hawk. All right? Um, and once they do make their move towards you, it's going to be a very decisive move. Very decisive move. It's like this person's plan is going to be to sweep you off your feet, to impress you, to kind of... Um, yeah, make sure that uh, you don't reject them. Whatever their plan in includes, it, it will probably be a, a plan that uh, it's going to be very hard for you to reject. Because they will have all kinds of things lined up. Right, so we've got the two of ones clarified by the page of swords. All the way to your left, those two cards that came out. And uh, if you already met this person, that's what they're doing right now. Or if uh, the two of you get acquainted in the second half of July, uh, like I said, you're not going to be hearing from them right away. Because with the two of ones and uh, the page of swords, this is them watching you. With the page of swords, perhaps you're, they're collecting information on you, doing their research. <laughs> and with the two of ones, I think they are trying to decide what would be the best way to approach you, to reach out to you, to win you over. And uh, their plan is going to be based on what you like, uh, based on the places you've been to. It's like this person is analyzing you in a very positive way. It's the, it's just the way they are. You know, they're not spooky. You're not. They're not. Uh, Creepy. It's just the way they are. They kind of, kind of like you, Libra. You are also an air sign, right? And this person could be an air sign themselves. Speaking of that, the next card that came out is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords could be a fellow air sign, uh, getting ready to pursue you. Um, air, um, <clears throat> air signs are um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, right? Or the Knight of Swords is the energy of them rushing in. Right? The three of ones clarifying the knight of swords. It's kind of symbolic that we have the two of ones and now we have the three of ones. The three of ones is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and it's like a final decision. You've got this person's full and undivided attention. It's like they've got their, uh, they, they set their mind on you, right? And that's why they're going to be coming after you, I guess, <laughs> pursuing you. Um, the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is what they're going to do. The Page of Pentacles, to me personally, is the most serious page out of all uh, four pages. I don't mean to insult the other three pages, but the Page of Pentacles, you know, this is when people think about long-term from the very beginning. Um, the Page of Pentacles could also be something tangible, something you can touch, so uh, the way they're going to be reaching out to you, they could give you a gift, right? Not just a bouquet of flowers. No, it's going to be something more than that. The Page of Pentacles could be like tickets to a show, tickets to a concert, you know, or they're going to take you out to a very fancy restaurant, right? To, just to show you and, and even impress you to kind of um, make you understand that they're serious about you. So it's going to be a serious gesture, you know? Um, and uh, the Wheel of Fortune in the middle um, is the start of a new cycle. It's a major arcana card. A uh, start of a new cycle between you and them. Right? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. In the potential outcome, we have strength with the, the lovers and uh, the world. Strength is the personal Leo card. You could be dealing with the Leo. Strength could be courage that uh, they may have to move forward, to take it to the next level. Strength could be your courage to move forward with this person. And every once in a while, strength comes through as pure, raw passion. <laughs> Okay, so that would never hurt, I guess. Uh, then we have the Lovers. The Lovers is the personal Gemini card. If this Knight of Swords is a Gemini, it makes total sense. Gemini is an air sign. The Lovers is a card of a choice, right? So perhaps, like I said, you may have to have courage to make a choice to take it all away with this person. But, um, you know, in my opinion, the Lovers is the best card when it comes to a love connection between two people. 
This is a card with soulmate connection, it's a card with twin flame connection if you believe in twin flames. And the lovers could simply be the lover of your life, you know. Then we have the world. The world uh, is um, my happy end card. This is one chapter of your life coming to an end that the new chapter on the next level up could potentially begin between the two of you. However, every single card in the potential outcome is a major arcana card. So this is serious, this is big, this is major, right? All you have to have is courage. All you have to do is make that choice. But uh, if you do guys decide to take it all away, I think it's going to be something amazing, something beautiful. The Lovers, like I said, is a great card to have. We've got, um, what, four major arcana cards all together. That's a lot, if you ask me. And with every single one of them... Every single every single card in the potential outcome being a major arcana card with cards like that, yeah, you guys are more than just uh, somebody who is gonna come into your life and then the, and exit it. No, this person is here to stay. I think. <laughs> All right, so really happy for you, Libra. Congratulations. Libra, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description box down below. Um, in the extended, we'll do two or three more spreads. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it plays out. We'll definitely see what to expect between you and them uh, moving forward. Then we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Libra, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. Uh, we have the Moon, we have the Ten of Wands, we have the Page of Wands qualified by the Knight of Cups, and we also have the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, there is more than one way to interpret that spread, but I'll focus on the, the most pleasant one, the one that comes through the most. <laughs> Alright, so I think you're going to have a very tough week, or perhaps you've had a um, tough a couple of weeks or a couple of months. Libra, and it could have been you, or it could have been your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant others, who's had a tough uh, couple of weeks, couple of months, or what, whatever. It, and for some of you, it could be related to work. Perhaps you had a lot of things um, you had to do at work, some projects to complete, um, deadlines to meet, and perhaps you already have children, and you had to juggle all of that. So you're basically tired. You're probably exhausted. And uh, what's going to happen this week? Um, your person, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, your significant other, they will do something nice for you, right? To kind of feel you, make you feel relaxed. It could be as simple as them giving you a gift certificate to a spa, right? So they'll just tell you, you know what, go take a day off, I'll take care of everything, I'll feed the kids, <laughs> I'll water the garden. <laughs> You go have a, a good time at the spa, relax. Or they will do something else, something romantic, something nice. You know, the Peugeot ones with the Knight of Cups, that's a good combo, you know, especially when it comes uh, from your significant other. The Peugeot ones, it's a message, or it could be them just kind of cracking jokes, or, you know, this is them communicating with you. And the Knight of Cups is what it's all about. It's going to be a very romantic gesture with the Knight of Cups. Because the Knight of Cups is the most romantic knight out of all four knights. It's the most loving one. Right? The, the Moon with the Ten of Wands, the first two cards they came out, came out, I think those two cards symbolize tough, that tough life. You know, and perhaps uh, they, they've noticed it, right? They've noticed that with the Moon card, you're suffering a little bit. It's been taken a toll on you. Because the Moon is the most one of the most emotional cards in the deck, and this is you just kind of feeling all emotional about it. And the Ten of Wands is a card of a burden. It's a card of a lot of responsibilities. It's a card of tough life. It's a card of you dealing with multiple things, right? You, all, you have all these errands to run. You've got a lot of things on your plate, work-related, uh, home-related. And that's why they're doing something nice for you with the Page of Wands and the Knight of Cups, right? The Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck, that would be you. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. So I hope that makes sense. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra, this week. Um, keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We got the King of Wands, we also have the Two of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the World. I didn't even have to clarify it. You know, the King of Wands could be a fire sign here, Leo Sagittarius, or somebody who is very fire and passionate, perhaps they're too fire and passionate for you. You know, they could be a narcissist all about themselves. Whatever their case, <laughs> whatever the case, um, this is a definite no. 
you're definitely, you're not even going to listen to what they have to. Well, you may read that text or listen to that uh, voice message they send you, you know, but um, it's, it's over. It's just over. There's nothing they can do to bring it back to life, to, to resurrect it. It's done. Okay, so got the two of swords in the middle. This is your remaining closed off, not opening up to this person. Uh, every once in a while, in my readings, the two of swords comes out, comes through as a big fat no, no way, Jose. <laughs> that type of a deal. And the four of cups right next to the deck. This is definitely a reject. This is a rejection card, right? The world on the bottom of the deck. So for you, it's done. It's 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 over. The saga has completed, and. Uh, Unfortunately for this king of wands, uh, they will have to go back to the past where they belong. Alright, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Libra, for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Libra, have an amazing the rest of July.